Items that people should never, ever put in the microwave under any circumstances. Leftovers, an effort-free encore to a delicious dinner, are practically as good as it gets when you're feeling a bit lazy and don't want to make dinner. Still, as with most sequels, leftovers rarely manage to recapture the magic of the freshly cooked original meal. But it doesn't have to be that way. As luck would have it, there are ways to reheat your leftovers so they keep their original quality, and it starts with keeping them far, far away from the microwave. Here are 22 foods you've probably been reheating wrong your whole life. Fried Chicken Microwaving fried chicken is a surefire way to lose all the crunch from the skin. Keep your chicken crispy by covering it in foil, shiny side up, and baking it at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for 10 minutes. Then bake it uncovered for another 10 minutes. French Fries Perhaps the most difficult leftover to bring back from the dead, microwave french fries are a culinary disaster. Instead, put a little olive oil in a nonstick pan, set the heat to low, and toss in the fries. That'll make them nice and crispy. Hard boiled eggs. To reheat hard boiled eggs, send them back to their maker. No, not the hen, but a pot of boiling water. In just 40 seconds, your cold peeled egg will be warm and ready to eat once more. Pasta in tomato sauce. When you scrape leftover pasta from the dinner plate, chances are it's covered in sauce that can give the reheated version a weird taste. Have no fear, just toss it in a pan over medium heat with a splash of water instead. Rice. Microwaving leftover rice turns it into something that's more like hard kibble than the soft, carb-filled delight you love. To reheat it, place leftovers in a covered baking dish with a bit of water and butter. Cover that with foil and bake it for 15 minutes at 320 degrees. Bread. Nuking leftover bread will make Italian nanas everywhere shake a rolling pin at you. Avoid their wrath by spritzing it with water, wrapping it in foil, and baking it for 7 minutes at 400 degrees. Then unwrap it and cook it for another 3 minutes. Lasagna No matter how much you love this stacked and stuffed pasta dish, you're bound to have a bit left over. Who can eat a family-sized platter solo, after all? To reheat it, put some fresh sauce and cheese on an individual slice and bake it at 400 degrees for 15 to 20 minutes. Porridge When Goldilocks dipped into the bear's porridge and determined which one was just right, she didn't know it could be reheated with a little trick. Avoid the microwave in favor of the stovetop. Just mix in a splash of milk for moisture. Quiche In the event you're stuck with a ton of leftover quiche, don't just pop your egg and spinach pie into the microwave. Sprinkle a bit of water on the egg, wrap the whole thing in foil, and toss it in the oven for 15 minutes at 375 degrees for the best texture. Fish Avoid being that guy at the office who pops his fish in the microwave and stinks up the whole joint. The best way to enjoy fish the second time around is to give it a new purpose. For instance, flake it and add it to a salad or fish cake. Steak Unless you're already a card-carrying member of Club for Monsters who like well-done steaks, microwaving your steak is a surefire way to ruin your meat. Instead, keep your steak juicy by placing thin slices in an oiled pan and cook it till it's warm. Mashed Potatoes Want to avoid reheated potatoes that get all crusty? Simmer water in a pan and then put a bowl of your mashed taters over the hot steaming water. Add milk and more butter and stir as the steam gently reheats the potatoes. Omelette Few have bitten into an omelette without consuming the whole thing. But if you ever have some left over, don't sweat it. Reheat it in a pan and your omelette will be as fresh as the day it was made. Pasta with cream or oil-based sauce If this dish gets too hot, you'll have a mess on your hands. In other words, a leftovers disaster. 
Avoid the microwave which will overheat it and simply toss it in a pan on medium heat Don't forget to add a dash of cream or oil while it cooks Casserole Got a fridge stuffed tight with casserole that needs reheating put a splash of water on it cover it with foil then cook it at 350 degrees the dish is successfully reheated when the middle is piping hot Fish and chips Here's the ultimate reheat challenge Restoring two different foods to their former selves. It's as simple as throwing this dish on a baking tray and baking at 400 degrees for 10 minutes Non sauce noodles are you a meal prepper who makes a massive pot of noodles to start the week? Please don't microwave them just pop a serving of pasta back into boiling water for a mere 40 seconds to reheat the right way Roasted potatoes if you place it in the microwave a roasted potato would be piping hot, but soggy Keep leftovers crispy by adding a drizzle of oil and re-roasting them at 400 degrees for 15 to 20 minutes Stir-fry Microwave stir-fry might as well be the lining for the bottom of your trash can No one likes biting into a soggy oily memory of dinners long gone You can reheat it the right way by just recooking it throw it back into a pan with hot oil stir and fry Chicken pot pie Using a microwave on leftover chicken pot pie is the fastest way to ensure you're eating pure mush and nobody wants that Restore your pot pie to all its comfort food glory by baking it at 400 degrees in an oven safe casserole dish for 20 minutes Scrambled eggs There's a bit of bad news here leftover scrambled eggs will forever taste bad your best bet would be to try and steam them or add in some fresh meat to pretend like you're not eating leftover eggs or you know just make new eggs Pizza Were there to be an eighth wonder of the world it would be pizza as good hot as it is cold It's the ultimate leftover food, but it should be kept away from the microwave But it should be kept away from the microwave for a nice slice place it in a hot buttered and covered pan for 30 seconds Leftovers can be the gifts that keep on giving but only if you know how to handle them Simply put keep your favorite foods out of the microwave Share these cooking tips with your friends and let us know if you have any tips of your own in the comments below